Stock sectors, steel stocks for July 18, 2024. This is Arvind Machandran. In this video, for Market Week, we will do a mini stock sectors on the steel stocks, highlighting U.S. Steel, Steel Dynamics, and then really a some of the evidence look at Nucor. And after this video, you should have a really clear understanding of where we believe we are uh, in the intermediate term cycle and uh, the opportunity that we believe is in front of us. So with that, let's go ahead and jump into it, and we will look at U.S. Steel first. That is symbol X. Okay, so this is our weekly cycle analysis here for U.S. Steel, and you can see that uh, we had that large gap up on the takeover offer that then has since filled on the downside, and we are in still what looks like a bearish mode as long as we hold below that key line in the sand, which is the 78.6 at 40.88. Highest probabilities are we would see one more test down uh, here, and we have a low that is due 819 to right around 107 uh, here in US Steel. If we go ahead and jump over now to Steel Dynamics, that's symbol STLD, of course, and you will see the look here on STLD. For STLD, I just want to highlight briefly the late stages of these corrective periods and how clear they have been on the downside in, in each of those cycles you can see the clear sell-off into the trough right there right there and right there and where are we right now we are in a period that looks a lot like this period back here uh, back in the later part of 2022 where we saw that rally that then got one final hit down we're seeing that this rally which does look a bit early we'll be watching for one more move down here in stld and that would only be valid as long as we're holding below that key line in the sand being the 78.6 fib at 143.86. We'd be watching for one more move down into this trough, which is used 729 to 10.14 or so uh, here in STLD. So with what we just saw in both U.S. Steel and now Steel Dynamics, let's take a sum of the evidence look at Nucor, that symbol NUE. We have overlaid both the STLD cycle bracket in blue and the US Steel cycle bracket in green. And what I've done here is I've highlighted in gray these nesting periods, which Slim has done for years, which is a great visualization of those periods of risk when you have multiple cycles due to bottom around that same timing. In this case, this is multiple stocks that are due to bottom within the group around the same time. This topic was covered in great detail in Slim's Cycle Analysis Workshop, uh, which uh, again, if, if you don't know, is available on the AskSlim.com website. You can uh, go to Workshops and then click on Cycle Analysis Workshop uh, to see all of the topics that are covered. Slim took his 50 years of trading and of honing a process and then condense it down to 15 hours of learning. Uh, it is really a fantastic way to learn the core fundamentals of our process. And then you can use our videos more as an application-based learning, right? So uh, that is really what the goal is, is to first understand the fundamentals, understand the core concepts, and then you can apply that learning in all of our videos, okay? So that's our look uh, there at the workshop. For Nucor, again, we're in that period where we have multiple cycles due to bottom. There's a trough that is due here, 729 to right around 107. We'll be looking at this like a bear flag, just like this period back here. You can see we had that rally and then one final sell. We had a rally, one final sell. We had a rally, one final sell. We're having a rally. What's the highest probabilities? Based on everything we have seen here in both STLD X and now new core highest probabilities are we would look for one more hit down here uh, into that trough there is a 78.6 at 145.59 and that is valid here as long as we're holding below the 61.8 fib at 182.31 critical for us to hold below that 61.8 fib if we move through it at this phase of the cycle it would raise the odds that you have formed an early low right now highest probabilities are that we would see one more move on the downside uh, to form a clear trough. Keep in mind that the trough uh, here in both Nucor, STLD, and X are all due right around the later part of summer time frame. So we would look for a bottom to form right around that time period and then see a solid pop back to the upside. 
Okay, so that is our look at the mini stock sectors here for Mark Week. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them in the comments section on YouTube. Thanks again, and hope you guys have a good day.